on this problem, now we're provided a triangle. And they still want us to evaluate for the six trigonometric functions. However, in this problem, we don't have a point that's on the unit circle, right? We're given this triangle. So we know we can still evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. But instead of using the coordinate points on the unit circle, we're going to have to use the relationships of the sides of the triangle, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. So what we first need to do is determine what the hypotenuse is. So I'll use Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where it's your two legs squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So we don't know what our hypotenuse is here. So do 6 squared plus 6 squared equals c squared. That's 36 plus 36, which is 72, equals c squared. Square root, square root. So a lot of you guys left your answer like this, Haley, square root of 72. But what I want you to understand, the reason why I move you guys around, is so that you can see you need to make sure you simplify this. All right? You're not going to see on a test the square root of 72. If it can be simplified, look to simplify this. I can break this down into the square root of 36 times 2. I can now take the square root of 36, which is 6. Okay. So now I have a triangle with a hypotenuse and two legs. Um, and I don't know where the theta was actually on this, but OK, here's theta. So there's theta. There's your angle. So now what we're going to do, and it doesn't really matter because the two legs are the same. But now we need to go through our trigonometric functions. So we have sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tangent of theta. Let's do the first three trigonometric. So instead of being the y-coordinate, now it's going to be your adjacent over your hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And your tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. Um, so now we just go and take from theta, opposite over hypotenuse. 6 over 6 square root of 2. Well, obviously, you guys can see the 6 is divide to 1. So you're left with 1 over the square root of 2. Then you rationalize the denominator. <coughs> and your final answer is square root of 2 over 2. Adjacent is going to be the exact same thing, right? It's the exact same numbers. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'll save myself some work and just write square root of 2 over 2. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. Well, that one's pretty easy to go over. That's equal to 1. right? Now let's go and do the reciprocal properties. So we have cosecant of theta, which is now going to be 6 square root of 2 over 6. The secant, which is a reciprocal of, uh, let me write it out. Cosecant, which is now going to be hypotenuse over opposite. Secant, which is now going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. And the cotangent of theta, which is now um, adjacent over opposite. Well, the hypotenuse is 6 square root of 2 over 6. Hypotenuse here is 6 square root of 2 over 6. And here, we just have 6 over 6. Well, these easily divide. And there's your final answer. OK? Any questions? Good. OK. So guys, 